You're such an asshole. AssholeConsulting.com. Go there if you have questions. Young man, Ryan Tyer, and I'll be 29 years old in two weeks. I'm a German male, earning six figures before taxes, working on average of 70 hours per week. It's come to a point where pretty much all I do is work, read, work out, and read about economics, politics, and philosophy. I always wanted to have a family, but I figured I should focus on establishing myself professionally first. That's why I find that's why I was fine with my lack of social life until, by pure chance, I met this cute conservative girl. We have been on a few dates, and we seem to get along well. I planned the dates and made them about physical exercise, <laughs> running a fitness trail, cycling, and interval training. You, 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 you slayer of women, you. Now she wants to take me out for drinks for a change so we can talk. Well, that's a good sign. How do I not fuck this up? She might actually be the one. So my, so far my experience with girls has been that they lose interest once I can no longer hide that I'm a loner. Thanks for an estimate. I've been an avid reader since 2009 and look forward to your brutal honesty and advice. A response video, a response via video is preferred as long as I remain anonymous with regards. So I say, well, okay, how much do you really like this girl? Like, oh my God, she's amazing. Or like, eh, she's a cool girl. Because here's the problem with you. It's not a problem. <coughs> you are purposely choosing not to be dating or socially as your average 28-year-old peer because you have more important shit to do. You have a real career. You're working out. You're reading about up on politics and economics. You're not like these virgin towels or posers who are afraid of women. You're just like, why the fuck would I go to a, a nightclub? You got more important shit to do at the gym and self-improvement. And so all of a sudden, this cute girl comes walking along, and it's like, oh, wow, here's this. So I'm trying to assess whether... Okay, is it like, oh my God, this is the one, I hope I don't fuck it up? Or is it like, oh wow, this is a really cool, rare chick. I hope it works out as long as she doesn't open her mouth and fuck it up. And so I asked you that. You said, I really like her in an oh my God, she's amazing kind of way. I am the one who's worried about fucking it up. She ticks all my boxes. She comes from an intact blue collar family, is even active in her church. Her mother looks fine for her age. She shows up on time. She's self-supporting. Currently has, is trained to become a nurse. She's feminine and still young at 22 years old. Okay, so what I was trying to assess and what I'm now worried about, um, I was hoping you wouldn't go this way, but you did, is that you would be secure in who you are, working, working out, making your money, and that if this, and you were the one shopping. You were the one going into the market and saying, oh, this might be the girl for me, this might be the girl for me. And you would let them have a chance to date you. In other words, you are the prize to be won. You are not viewing it like that. You are developing one-itis for this girl. And that not only puts you, because of power dynamics, those who like the other person more are in the weaker position. <coughs> um, but now you run the risk of suffocating this girl and driving her away, being obsessed with her. And that's not a healthy situation to be in. All right? So the trick is now, how do we get you out of this mentality so you don't freak out and, and not act like yourself and then scare away, you're too charming, you're too charismatic or whatever, all right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look long-term. If you wanna get married, it is either gonna work out or it's not. I don't mean you're gonna get divorced. It's either you're gonna marry this girl or not. It's either gonna work out or it's not, okay? If that's your long-term goal, all right? And if you try to impress her based on what little you know about her, I mean, I know you know a lot about her, but, but you've only gone out a couple dates. This is not the one. You don't know for a fact that this is the one. She has a very impressive resume. Very rare. There are others out there like that. They're rare, but you, you can find them. But you got to view yourself as part of this equation, too. You're going to have to like this girl. This girl's going to have to like you. And for it to work in the long run, you both are going to have to be yourselves to figure that out. So if your goal is marriage, you got to get rid of this one itis bullshit and think, oh my God, oh my God, who do I know? Fuck this, oh, do I know? No, you don't know. She could fuck it up. She could do pot. She could do this. You know? And so the quickest way to find out whether it's going to work out is to be yourself. I don't mean that. Just be yourself and everything. I don't mean that. I mean... I like perfect example. You did a great move. I'm taking her out in her vulture. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. That's you. You know, like, no, this is what I'm going to do. And so what you need to do for the entire time to find out whether you guys are compatible is simply be yourself. I mean, don't be 
impolite, don't consider her. I mean, certainly if she wants a drink, you know, and maybe buy her a drink or be nice to her or be funny and charming. But above all else, you have to be yourself because it's, that is the only way to find out if it's going to work long term or not. You try and be somebody else. It's like being in podcasting or radio. You got to keep up that facade the entire time because that's what your audience and in your case, your potential girlfriend, potential wife will fall in love with. And after a while, you can't, you can't do that after a while with, a, with a, a fellow human being. You have to be yourself all the time. So it's, in other words, it is fated whether or not it's going to happen. This is outside of your control. Your personality is either compatible or they're not. And you're going to find that out sooner or later by being yourself. So don't try. Don't try and, oh my God, well, I've got to be, I've got to be Cary Grant. I've got to be Gregory Peck. I've got to be that really charming, charismatic fella. Uh, who? Gregory and uh, George Clooney? No. Uh, Tony Stark? No. Who? Aaron Clary? Oh, no one can be that charming. No. Be you. Just go be yourself. And here's the, here's the other thing. Get it out of your mind that this is the one. I'm statistically quite sure that this is, you know, at least a 50% chance she isn't. You don't know. It's been a couple of dates. I'm sure it's been fine and wonderful. But calm your horses down and just go hang out. And it will happen or not because she will either find out she's adapted to you or adaptive to you and vice versa. And then fine, okay, you go ahead and it'll happen. Or... She'll dump you or something. You'll find out, oh my God, she does this. Or, oh, what is, there'll be some deal breaker along the way. So just both of you be yourselves and you figure this out. It's the quickest way to be. So don't, don't get worked up. Now, here's the sad thing. Let me put this into your mind as well. And this is with that power dynamics. You also seem to be operating from the erroneous presence, uh, pr uh, premise, as did I for many, many years that a girl has to be tricked or won over to like you. And I heard a lot of girls, innocent girls, disproportionately, sadly, I heard a lot of girls' feelings and emotions operating from that false premise. Because when you are brought up, especially in the United States or Western, it always seems like you gotta trick these girls. They're always the prize, you always gotta chase. Right? And and it's and in other words, <clears throat> when you say you got to trick a girl into going out with you, that means you're not good enough on your own to have her willingly go out with you in the first place. And it was sad. I mean, I didn't realize this until my mid thirties. Like, wait a minute, girls actually? I mean, not that you think well, girls like me. Like you can understand that concept, but you don't really realize girls might actually like you. They might actually fall in love with you. And so when you'd be thinking and and. It demeans the relationship, it demeans you a little bit, but it's also very sad when every relationship you go out on, it's like, I gotta scan this girl, I gotta do this ploy, I gotta play this game, I gotta game her up, da 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 da. You never allow for the shot or the concept in your brain, well, she might actually just like me too. It's always, no, I gotta keep it on, I gotta keep the act up, I gotta scam her, no one would really like me for me, no, I gotta, I gotta do this. And that's what's sad. And that's where you are right now. You're on this thing, what do I got to do not to fuck this up? Well, th that's going to fuck it up because you're not going to, you're not entertaining the chance. If you want this girl to marry you, the one thing that she has to have is that she actually likes you too. But you're not entertaining that possibility right now. You're not going to allow it to happen because you're still thinking she's this thing. She's this fish I must, I must catch with a lure and a net. She is this elusive elk I must go and hunt. No. What if it's more of like a dog relationship where the dog loves its master and you love your dog? What if it's like that? And that's, I know it's not perfectly analogous, but it's where both parties willingly want to be together. So the quickest way for her to find out whether she is going to like you is once again for you to be yourself. So she can fall in love with you and then you guys don't have, then you are, then you can go get married if you want. Because you guys actually, you're not putting on a front, you're not trying to scam her, scheme her. You actually say, well, I got, and you do, you got some, some shit to offer. You're successful. You're in shape. You have hobbies. You're much more intelligent than average. You're, you're well read. You're well educated. And you're just not into, yeah, I'm not going to go nightclub and we're going to go do this. She might like you for you. It's a, it's a concept that's not only foreign a lot, sadly, a lot of men, but it's necessary to understand if you're looking to get married or have a long-term relationship with a girl. 
that she is willingly going to like you. And you're like, holy shit. What, really? And it just throws everything off. They're like, wait a minute. And then, then you look back like, oh shit, that girl did like me. Oh crap. No wonder she was crying unconsolably. I thought she just was female. <laughs> Oh, so going forward, going on your next date, go have some drinks. Just be honest, all right? Don't be impolite, but be honest. Just be yourself, all right? No bullshit, no crap, no, oh, I brought you flowers. None of that shit, all right? Uh, just hang out, be cool, go have fun. You know, treat it like it's your buddy Bill, but then also... You know, not only realize that you, you you have to be yourself. So she has the accurate mark as to what to aim for. She, do I want to hook my boat up to this? You have to do the same uh, same thing with her. But then also entertain the idea. Allow for the idea, the option that she just might like you for you. In which case, you don't have power dynamics. You have two people that like each other and want to help each other out. Again, it's foreign. It's rare. It's not, okay, it's not that rare. It's more common than you would think, but we've been conditioned that think that like, oh, girls don't like actually like us. We got that's why they gotta buy them shit and put stupid rocks on their fingers. And that's all like you know, ninety seven percent of them we just gotta fool. There's that three percent that might actually like us. <laughs> and we hope that helped out. You kids got questions? Go to assholeconsulting.com. If you need me, talk to me in person. You can talk to me in person over the Praxy app. P R A X E Y. Just search Asshole Consulting. You'll find me on the Praxy app. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.